Hi, ladies and gents. My name is Jen Kral, and I will be guiding you through our entry system in this tutorial. I'm going to show you our competitor portal and the various forms for 2019. So let's get started. First, let's make sure that we're on the TV Makeover website. From here, you'll have three ways that you can enter the competitor portal. First and easiest is the button on the upper left. Second, under attend, competition information, competitor portal. And third, you can go under entries and the competitor portal button will be on the right. So let's head over there. You'll wanna make sure that you're logged in in order to view the competitor portal. So let's do that real quick. The first page you land on will be the trainer message board. Anything of importance will be listed here, including newsletters. Let's walk our way down the right-hand side. First, you'll see our list of important dates. Horse registration is open and will close July 30th. Please make sure you register your horses as you get them. We have a volunteer crew going through and approving horses, and it makes our job much easier. Next, you'll see the trainer navigation. First, you'll see the new rule book for 2019. If you haven't done so, please read that front to back. There have been a lot of changes since 2018, and any of your questions should be answered there. If they are not, please feel free to email me at secretary at tbmakeover.org. Next will be the manage my entry section. This will be where you can add a thoroughbred, make changes, or add photos. The trainer bulletin board is where we are now. Next will be the USCF drug policy. The competition piston patterns will include the new barrel racing flat pattern, as well as the newly incorporated Western dressage test. You'll wanna make sure that you look at special awards when it comes time for final entries, so you know what your horse qualifies for. Next is a great article on how to sell your makeover horse. And finally, we have the new reporting form for any makeover graduates. The next section of navigation is the Facebook groups. The first is the closed group that you'll need to make in a request in order to join. Next is the open group for everything makeover. Third is the retired racehorse Facebook page. And finally, you'll have the TV makeover graduates for sale or adoption. Last navigation, but certainly not least, is our webinars. If you haven't already, make sure you watch the welcome webinar with our Director of Operations, Kirsten Green. So let's head over to Manage My Entries and get started on the forms. Here, under the Manage My Entries, you'll have a list of any horses you've entered for 2019, as well as your form for entering a new thoroughbred. Now I have two types of entries for 2019. I have a team entry with one horse and a standard entry allowing for two. I currently only have two horses listed as pending with the third withdrew, so I can add my third pending horse. So let's go ahead and enter a thoroughbred. First, you'll wanna make sure that your name matches. Next, you'll select your entry type. As I said, I had a team and a standard entry with only a standard entry horse left. So let's select that. Let's give this horse a name. And are you the registered owner of this horse? I'm gonna say no. I'm riding this horse for a dear friend who has a super easy phone number. And I think by now we all know her email address. Let's select a year of birth. I'm gonna select 2014. Height, I tend to ride short horses, so I'll select 15 hands. I'm a sucker for a chestnut and I love my geldings. The next question is new for 2019. 
do you anticipate this horse will be offered for sale at the makeover? If you select yes, want your horses accepted, a green icon will show up next to their name on the list of entries. This will know, note to potential buyers that your horse will be for sale at the makeover and they'll be able to follow your journey throughout the year. Don't worry, you can change your mind. Just email secretary at tvmakeover.org and I will make those changes for you. Next, let's move on to the eligibility information. Is this horse unraced or was its last race before July 1st, 2017? I'm gonna say no, this horse was in fact raced. It's gonna ask for that race date. So let's go ahead and use one from Equibase. I'm gonna use Country House. The most recent race was 216 of 19. So let's go ahead and put that in. And to your knowledge, does this horse have more than 15 rides? I'm gonna say no and describe any training. Since I just got this horse, we're gonna say there's none applicable. Next, we'll do the acquisition information. So how was this horse acquired? You'll have five options to choose from. I'm gonna select reseller and then choose which reseller I used. We have a list of the most common resellers that we've had in the past, but you can also select other and enter their name. Make sure you put in the adoption fee or price and when you acquired the horse. Since I want to make the volunteers' lives much easier, I just got this horse and I'm registering it today. Describe how you or the current owner acquired the horse. This was via a private sale. And any other facts that you wish to share publicly about the horse. Because who doesn't want a friendly horse on their property? So let's go ahead and make sure that everything looks correct before we hit submit. So let's say this horse was unraced or its last race was before the July 1st cutoff. You would select yes. And instead of a, a last race, it's gonna ask for last published work instead. Let's figure out how to find that real quick. First, you'd head over to Equibase and type in this link in your browser. Now, this currently shows the workouts for Cyclometric, but let's say that we want to use Country House instead. We would replace this reference number with the reference number for Country House. So we would go up here and copy and paste Country House's reference number into the reference number here. Hit enter. And now we have the workout history for Country House instead. The most recent is March 3rd. So let's go ahead and add that since it's a more recent date. Now everything looks correct. And I'm gonna hit submit. Now we see Hollywood fame as a standard entry listed as pending with no photos. Don't be worried if your horse list is pending for a while. We have a team of volunteers going through and approving horses and verifying their information in Equibase. Anybody who has put in a horse before March 1st, we have not had a chance to go through them yet, so please don't worry. And it looks like we got an email confirming that new entry, so let's double check. And here you can verify your information entered for your horse. If anything looks incorrect, please email me at secretary at tvmakeover.org. Next, let's see about adding some photos for Hollywood fame. You'll click on the upload photos button associated with Hollywood fame. Verify that the name listed matches the horse. 
and you'll be able to upload four photos of your choosing. One confirmation, one headshot, and two extra photos for personality. Now, please remember to keep photos under one megabyte and to keep them in JPEG or PNG form. Anything else will not be accepted and you'll have to do the form over again. So let's go ahead and choose photos. I've pre-labeled mine to make it easier. Now, knowing that these photos match the criteria, I'm gonna hit upload photos. And we'll receive a notification that the photos were in fact uploaded. And we'll see now that there is a view photos button for Hollywood fame. So let's go ahead and verify that we have the correct photos. You'll see the status listed as pending until a volunteer has had a chance to approve the photos. So let's make sure that the confirmation photo is correct. It is. Headshot. It is. And an extra photo. Looking good. So let's go back to manage my entries. So you may have noticed that now under my Manage My Entry section, I no longer have a button to add a thoroughbred. That's because I have hit my maximum number of horses with one team and two standard horses pending. If I wish to add a new horse, I'll first have to withdraw one. So let's go ahead and withdraw Practical Magic. Make sure that the name matches. And you'll select the status. Sold or adopted, where we'll ask for those details. Please make sure you supply as much information as possible. And secondly, withdrawn. And you'll have to give a reason for that withdrawal. I'm gonna say that the horse is unsound because we played a little too rough in the field. Don't you love it when they do that? So let's go ahead and hit submit. It lets me know that practical magic has been changed. And I now only have two horses pending with the option to add a third. Our final form is for any makeover alumni. It will be the report of a makeover grad. So for anybody who had their horse in the sale for 2018, you'll let us know that the sale was completed here. First, you'll select your thoroughbred, and we have done our best to include all of the horses going back to 2015 for you. If the horse's name isn't listed, we apologize. Just hit horse not listed. Supply their jockey club name. And what year they have participated in the makeover. You'll let us know if the horse was entered in the makeover sale. And let us know if you sold or kept the horse. If you sold the horse, we're gonna ask for that sale information again. And if you kept the horse, congratulations on your acquired thoroughbred. Supply any additional comments and hit submit. Once that form has been submitted, you'll receive a notification of its receipt. And for any horses from 2018, if we look at the marketplace, we'll see the horses that have been listed as sold. Well, everyone, thank you for watching this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing all of you in October.